Hey, Sam, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today. Uh, if you have a question, use the raise hand function and we'll get to you here momentarily. And the first question comes from JB Ricks. Hey, Sam, JB here from Spectrum News One. Thanks for taking out the time, man. Um, I just want to know your immediate feelings when you, you, you saw that uh, invitation from the Orange Bowl, um, your, two, your first two seasons playing college ball, how it all has, you know, come to this point. Like, what was that feeling like for you, you know, being the quarterback of this team and the immediate turnaround that this program has had? How good of a feeling is that for you? Yeah, I mean, it's an awesome feeling. Um, it's just a credit to the work we put in. And, you know, like you said, this program's come so far in two years, and it's just credit to the older guys. Uh, you know, they just they just trusted the process. Um, they trusted Coach Brown's plan, and, and it's starting to work. Um, so just to see that pay off, and really just for the older guys that have been through so much, uh, it's awesome to see that, especially the seniors, are going to be sent out the right way with, the, with an Orange Bowl bid. And, you know, we're not just happy we're going to the Orange Bowl. We're going down there to win. So that's our mindset. And a quick follow-up to that uh, with the three players who opted out. Um, what is the players' overall feeling about that? Because I know you guys want to go down here and really win this game. And I'm sure you would prefer to have a full arsenal. But at the same time, you know, players have to make the decisions best for their futures and their families. What is the overall sentiment from the team about those three players who opted out? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we wish we had them with, with us going down there to Miami. But, you know, at the end of the day, they, they made a decision they thought was best for them. You know, I mean, as a team, we respect that. Uh, we love all we love all those guys. They're all really they're all really good teammates. Um, and they're three great teammates. So, yeah, I mean, we definitely wish we had them with us. But at the end of the day, they they did what was best for them, and we, we just have to respect that. All right, thanks, bud. All right, let's go over to CL Brown. Hi, uh, Sam. Uh, kind of piggybacking on that, I wanted to ask you specifically what what you feel like. Uh, Diami and Michael Carter, like what what about their presence in the huddle will you say you guys will miss most? Yeah, I mean, they're both just great players and great guys. Um, they're both the leaders of their position group. Um, I mean, Michael Carter is the heart, basically the heart of this football team, so losing him was definitely definitely a, bit, a big loss. But, you know, we, we have a lot of guys that are going to have to step up now uh, and kind of take more local roles and more more leadership roles because those, those two guys are two of our main leaders, uh, especially on the offensive side of the ball. So we really just need some more guys to step up. And big picture, what would an Orange Bowl win do for this program and say about this program? Yeah, I mean, I, I think an Orange Bowl win just keeps us on the right path of where we want to go uh, as a program. I know that definitely just getting, getting there is a big, a big part. But like I said earlier, we want to win the game. Um, so I think that would mean a lot for this program. Maybe we just show how far this program's come and it would show what the future holds for this program. Thanks. Okay, let's go back over to Andrew Jones. Hey, Sam, uh, as much as you'd like to have Diami and, and Michael out there, it is an opportunity for some other guys to step up and get meaningful reps against a really good team. How excited are you to, to see those guys get that opportunity? And how much can it help you guys going into the next season that they'll get those reps? Yeah, I mean, it definitely is exciting. Uh, you know, in, the, in both of those rooms, in the receiver room and the running back room, we have a lot of really good players that really haven't had a whole lot of opportunities to play uh, with, just because the stars we have being so good. So, yeah, I mean, it's a great opportunity for those guys to step up, and we really don't know exactly who it's going to be uh, fulfilling those spots. So there's a lot of room for competition um, going on these next next two weeks. So it's definitely very exciting, and it kind of just gives us a little preview of next year of what it's going to be like without without some of those guys on our offense. So it definitely is exciting for those younger guys to have a chance to compete and really show us what they got. Cool. Thank you. Okay, uh, back over to Luke Buxton. Hey, Sam, I'm curious kind of when, when guys make the decision to opt out, how it goes down within your group. Is it an announcement at the Senior Banquet Award? Is it a group message? Is it tell your position and it kind of spreads to the team? How, how did you find out and kind of how does that all go down? Yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of as soon as they made the decision, uh, kind of it, it kind of information kind of spreads pretty fast. But uh, Coach Brown made an announcement in our, in our team meeting. Um, so that, that was the announcement. All right, Sam, that's the last question we have for you today. Thank you. Thanks, Josh.